Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Trump signs COVID-19 relief bill after nearly week-long delay. The president initially said he wanted 2,000 checks for Americans in the bill. After days of opposition and hours before the federal government was going to shut down, President Donald Trump signed the $900 billion coronavirus relief package the White House announced Sunday night. Congress passed the legislation last Monday after months of negotiation in the Senate. The package includes 600 checks for Americans who earn less than 75000 per year. Half of the 1,200 checks that were mailed out earlier this year. After its passage, Trump initially called for the bill to be revised to include 2,000 checks and refused to sign it until his call was answered. However, he didn't officially say he would veto it. In a Sunday night statement announcing he had signed the bill, Trump called on Congress to make more revisions to cut down excess spending. And here is what that statement reads. Take a look. As you can see, here is the statement right here. Also in this statement, Trump referred to COVID-19 as the China virus. Democrat leaders in both House backed the 2,000 check plan, but GOP leadership rejected it. In a statement, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell applauded Trump for signing the package in preventing a shutdown at a time when our nation could not have afforded one. Overnight Saturday, two federal pandemic unemployment programs expired, leaving millions of Americans without financial assistance. The relief package in bill is tied to federal appointments legislation for the 2021 fiscal year and had it not been signed would have resulted in a government shutdown at midnight Monday. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said in a statement that the relief bill is a down payment on what is needed to crush the virus. She said House Democrats will bring legislation on the 2,000 checks to the House floor tomorrow, while a bill with that amount uh, financial relief is expected to be passed in the House, it's unclear if McConnell will bring the bill for a vote on the Senate floor. Every Republican vote against this bill is a vote to deny the fiscal hardship that families face and to deny the American people the relief they need, Pelosi said in a statement. And that does it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. See you back here later on today with more news reports. Goodbye, everyone.